you. Shut up, Sean. I do like old style. It's not bad at all. I don't know, I'm getting mad. <laughs> Guys, very special Friday episode. When you donate $35 a month on Patreon to this web series, you get to pick basically where we eat, what we do. And Kyle McClelland, McClelland? McClelland is my guess. McClelland said, guys, I don't wanna see you get in the car and do your whole thing. Order your favorite cheap, greasy, like guilty pleasure food. And actually, he never specified anything about the car. He might have been totally cool with us getting Dewey's. <laughs> Cause, no, no. Cause Mary, okay, so the part we, we didn't say is also he asked specifically for us to do a Chicago handshake mm -hmm. and to do a rip from the bong. Get that in frame. Oh boy! He didn't specify don't drink and drive. Oh. We more just chose, well I guess we can't drink and drive. <laughs> we did the right thing. We're responsible adults. Yeah, so today, Chicago handshakes, if you don't know, Chicago handshake is a 16 ounce Old style, the best light beer in Chicago, Wisconsin. And also a shot of Jepson's Malort, uh, which is now owned by CH Distillery, but the OG. This is the best shot in America. If you don't agree, I'll fight you. Like, walk to Chicago, you'll be winded, and then I have a, sh a shot at beating you in a fight. That's true, they call him the Red Rocket for a reason, yeah, man. He'll not. come at you quick, fast, and a lot of wetness. Yeah, it's not for any other reason. Red Rocket! Red Rocket! Ah! Stanley, what the hell are you doing? My friend, happy Friday. Can I do, I'm gonna do a little bit, an adjustment to the Chicago handshake, because Kyle asked for me to take a bong rip. Okay, sounds like and, an excuse, but for sure. Well, I'm doing the same thing that you're doing, <laughs> plus more, so I oh. guess, instead of an excuse being more of a man, <laughs> Yep. Okay. I'm gonna hit for the Chicago Triple Crown. Wow. Which is where you take a bong rip, then we'll cheers the shot, then we'll do the old style. So that's Chicago Triple Crown. That's so incredible. why don't you go ahead and make up an excuse? Take a hit, chug your beer, do a shot, then blow out the smoke. <laughs> All right, hold on a second while I do my man stuff, and then we can join together cool. in the child's okay. play. Okay, I'm gonna buy some Dogecoin while you do that. Hold on. Okay, I just bought some cryptocurrency. That was extremely- You gotta, you gotta hold the smoke in too. It's extremely for, impressive. Oh, oh, oh. That's not bad at all. And we each purchased uh, our favorite, or just a really a cheapy guilty pleasure thing. Corey, what do you got? I went with the region, their smash burger. It's super reasonably priced, and it's a smash burger. So you really can't beat that. Now this is a bit of an indulgence, but the cheese fries, he did specifically ask for like the local cheap option. So I did cheat a little bit with the cheese fries because that definitely bumps up the price. Mm -hmm. But this smash burger on its own is super reasonably priced for the burger game in Chicago, and it's one of the best burgers in the United States of America. Yeah. In my opinion that has almost no other examples of burgers in the United States of America. I got Philly's best. Uh, owner, Mike Markellos, one of our favorite people that owns businesses. Hold up, you guys are from Chicago. Doesn't matter. It's all the same ingredients that they use in Philly. And then I also got the french fries with, with the, the works. works. So this is Jardinera. We got the cheese, we got the bacon, and then we got little dollops of Sour cream. Sour cream. So Kyle, thank you so much for donating to this. What I really loved about his donation is like rather than him trying to putz through like what he, where he thinks we should go, it was more of like a rec, this is kind of a recommendation video in a way. It's like, Corey, Corey Sean, what do you through. like? You know what I mean? Is that what you're thinking when all these other people are giving yeah. us suggestions? Putz. Oh, you putz through that one. Bunch of putzes. <laughs> no. I think you guys is, all give great suggestions. This has got to be one of my favorite Patreon suggestions of all time. I think Kyle just ousted himself into the into the rafters. Thanks, also, fantastic. hotter sixer sauce too. Are you ready? <laughs> yes, sir. I am so excited. I haven't had a Philly's Beast in a while. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at it. All right, ready? Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Bro, there's something about smash burgers, bro. This is just so good. The tenderness of the steak, the bread is that like good Philly roll they use, and the, the cheese whiz. I can't wait to go to Philly with you. We're gonna get food poisoning how much we're gonna eat. No, and not that's like not a, how that works. It's gonna, we're gonna be Food poison poisoning isn't caused by overeating. We're gonna it's be not like poisoned a, by the food. It's not like there's a calorie limit oh. that when you cross that you get food poisoning. Oh. That's from not cooking your food. Like a, like a salmonella. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice onion. I like that. Mm. 
like that. It's so good, man. That's unbelievable. Like, I haven't had that in a year. Yeah. So like the, well, I feel like you're about to attack me. The happy. You went into like an attack position with your groin. <laughs> like you, he, you, <laughs> guys, well, you guys can't see the way he just swooped around his <laughs> leg to kind of open his groin to That's me. That's true. That's very true. My groin is always in an open and ready stance. I feel like there was like a real delianess coming from you. Don't do that. <laughs> Mm, 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 this has mm. got to be one of my favorite suggestions you could do for that tier. Like, this is so cool. It's like allowing us to showcase the stuff we eat outside of the show, you know? Well, and in this case, inside of the show. It's like the thing that you've wanted to go back and get. Is this the first time you've had it since we've eaten it? Have you had the region since our episode? Probably not, but maybe. Does your brain work? Well, I mean, do you know how much we eat? <laughs> I, dude, I'll be honest. What'd you have two Thursdays ago? Once we start recording, I kind of just shut off. Mm hmm. I love this suggestion too, but I was will say, I love all the suggestions. One of my other favorite things is experiencing foods that I normally wouldn't experience. Look, when people say, You sound so much cooler than I do now. Did you do that on purpose? Of course. Is well, that because people in the comments said, Sean, you should eye roll more? Hello? I had to call it out because I noticed you did it extra big and I, I, I knew did. it was for them. I knew it was for I them. really like to over exaggerate my eye rolls. Like I think it's I think eye rolls oh are so God. funny. Like well, here we go. <laughs> you guys can choose not to watch these. <laughs> I gotta be here. <laughs> for all you these. Gotta, you gotta punch in. So I gotta see these on repeat mm -hmm. for the next 10, 10 months maybe. Yeah. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so true. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more bite. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on, then do you wanna dive into fries together? I'm eating this whole thing, bro. You're not gonna go fry? You, oh my God. And then I'm Are gonna you, go fries. Is this something I kind of forgot about you? Are you a finish one thing first, then go to the other, or is it just that good? It's just that good. Okay. okay. It's just that good. My brother does that. He eats a full mm. thing and then goes on to his side. That's, oh, Kylie's saying yes. She does that too. I'll mix mm. Mm, 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 mm. They really do have the best Philly cheese stick in Chicago. No question. I've never had a better one here. We've gone to places. This is the best one. My dad almost drove the four and a half hour trip, nine hour trip round trip. Mm -hmm. Him and my mom almost had a random Sunday that they almost drove to Philly's best to grab a sandwich and then drive back to Toledo. It was extremely lazy of them not to. How? That's the joke, it's nine hours. That wouldn't have been lazy. God damn, that's a... Excuse me, is this Sarcasm 101? No, it's Lamaze class from Men Named Arthur. You know what's really fun about the hot sauce, too? What's that? It gets hotter the longer it sits in the bottle. That's so true. Isn't that crazy? So, like, if you buy it now, it's hot. If you're gonna buy it in, like, 10 months from now, if you, like, need to re-up or something, it's gonna be even hotter. Like, what a fun adventure that is. That is so random. I know. And I would have never believed it, except we had to experience it with the last, mm -hmm. with the regular Sixer sauce. The regular mm -hmm. Sixer sauce started getting damn right. Spicy. Spicy. It was a mild sauce. It was flavor first and, like, 10% heat. When we first got it, it was, like, I thought it was no heat. I considered it just a sauce, not a hot sauce. And All of a sudden, like, chemical reactions happened, and, like, Bill Nye showed up at your door one time. You know how dinosaurs turn into coal and we can't figure out how? I mean, some people can, but we can't. We can't. That's how I feel about six or sauce getting well, some heat. How many times have you had these fries, by the way? Too many. Yeah. Like a heart attack worthy amount. Right. You put the jardinera on too? Have to. So good. Mmm. Yeah. Bacon, nacho cheese, jardinera, which is just spicy vinegar like vegetables. It's great. It's a, basically a way to get your vegetables and not look like a little bitch doing it. <laughs> and then sour cream, which is a way to get really healthy fats. If they do a 1990s commercial, mm -hmm. it'd yeah. be like, yeah. Guess what, kids? Hope you like your vegetables. Extreme. Yeah, it'd be like a Mountain Dew commercial. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And their bacon. Their I bacon is no, really good. It's not no damn bacon bits. I mean, no. bacon bits, but ain't no store bought. No, it's That's chopped up bacon. Real bacon. Yeah. That they Edward Scissorhands. Sliced up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't slouch on it either. There's no slouch. They're loaded up. There's no slouching. Who knew, you know? You had to go all the way to Chicago to get Philly, Philadelphia food. Is there anything in the city that puts you in a better place than a Chicago handshake? No. People who come here and are like grossed out by like, I'm the Lord. There's something, there's just like a rite of passage. There's something so near and dear to my heart of people that can just hang in a situation. That's what I think Chicago bar goers are. That's why dive bars here are kind of like the staple. It's people that can just show up at a bar, you offer something to them, everyone's hanging out and laughing, and there's like a rite of passage of, I'm taking the shot with you, we're doing this together. That's what I love about Jepson's Malort. 
It's, it's like this weird, like, brotherhood, sisterhood that happens in the moment. <laughs> it's the best. I know it sounds psychotic to a lot of you living in wherever you live, but you come here, if you tell a bartender at certain bars that you just moved to Chicago, they will slide you a shot of this on the house and say, welcome to the city. Like, that's what I love. <laughs> yeah, that's, I love oh, that. That's so awesome. I gotta get AJ to drink one at a bar once bars open. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be the first one to buy it for him if I'm buying. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Coffee handshakes are the best. They are. Do your guys' cities have any like weird rite of passages like that? Like if somebody comes to your city and wants to experience the city in one 1.5 ounce shot, <laughs> do you have anything like what do people do? Like what's the thing in your city? I would love to know. I don't think Toledo has one, mm -hmm. and really I just think college in general yeah. might have one. Uh huh. And at least when I was in college, mm. and it'd be a Johnny Vegas. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's actually a very Michigan State answer. I feel like, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like it's every college kid uh -huh. mm -hmm. in that time zone. I don't know what it is now. It could be something completely different. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like it was always the Johnny Vegas. Dude, Detroit. Yeah, I would say Detroit. Detroit, Detroit would be like a Labatt Blue and a Coney Dog. Like that's oh, that's okay. the, the, the Detroit starter kit at a bar would be a Labatt yeah, Blue. Yeah, hockey town. It's all hockey players love Labatt Blue. Like we're so close to Canada. Give me a Labatt Blue or a Molson, love and then those, give me a Coney, way. and welcome to the city. I didn't know that was an option to do, because you said 1.5 ounces. Mm -hmm. Then I would say, very close mm -hmm. to what you said, mm -hmm. but a Buckeye beer, yeah, which is a yeah. Toledo brewed beer. Mm -hmm. I'd say a Buckeye beer and, uh, well, I personally would say Rudy's. Some people would say Tony Paco's, but right. also, yeah, Coney Dog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that we're not even from the same state. And the rite of passage is a oh, chili a dog. Chili dog. Yeah. Oh, a chili dog. I love that. Kyle, thank you so much for doing this. Like, I'm, I'm in heaven. Kyle's a legend. What a Friday. Before we get out of here today, let's do a quick shout out. Before we verbally satisfy mm -hmm. Kyle McClellan. Satisfy? Satis satisfy. Mm -hmm. I right, satisfy. <laughs> and then we do a shout out. Okay. And then we just sit there and just say how dope he is to end the video. Instead I, of doing a rating or whatever. That sounds great. This is all going in the video. On this Friday, we want to remind you guys that we're on Cameo. If you don't know what Cameo is, it's a fun little uh, service where you can reserve us to do a little birthday shout out, a wedding shout out. Maybe someone's having a bad day. Maybe somebody's having a really good day. Maybe somebody just bought the coffee they've been seeking out, you know? Like, oh my God, look, the roastery finally has that bean I want. And I want to let that person know, Sean and Corey are like, yay, you found that coffee bean. How random is that? Nobody cares, Sean. Cameo.com forward slash number six for cheese. Uh, it's only 19 bucks. Snag a reservation. We like to call it that, like you're going out for dinner. And we'll be within just a couple days. We'll make you a little personalized shout out for a friend, for you, whatever. Uh, it's an awesome way to support the show and also allows us to just make more content because we're not doing that enough. You feel like you keep getting closer to me and I'm going to catch freckles. At the end of the... <laughs> That's funny. At the end of the video, it's I'm gonna be here and you're gonna be fully in, in freckles. <laughs> so if you want to uh, reserve one, oh my God, the link is below. Look for the part that says cameo. You click on it and you reserve it. 19 bucks, are you kidding me? Why do you keep pointing your groin at me, bro? That's less than a frame at Target. They can't see your body angles on the down below. Approved! I just wanna say welcome to Target to somebody, welcome to Target! Uh, thanks, just this stuff. Kyle, thank you so much for this episode. Philly's best, the region. Two of the best that ever friggin' did it, dude. That was pretty good. Thank you. I'm gonna give it a shot. Kyle, what you just did to my taste buds was so stimulating, so amazing, so enthralling, that I could my pants no less than a baker's dozen times. And I have to tell you, <laughs> And I love you from the bottom of my heart, soul, and ego. To the level that I'm willing to do this. I am yours now, Kyle. I am yours. So for $35, that's all it takes. <laughs>